Up to now, we have assumed that a firm will sell all its output at a single price. This is a true assumption where the firm is a price taker in a perfectly competitive market. But let us now put ourselves in the shoes of a scheming monopolist called Wally. Wally is now producing an output where MC equals MR. He looks at his demand curve, which is relatively price inelastic. Oh look, there's a guy there who is willing to pay a higher price than the price I'm offering. And there's a guy there who's even willing to pay an even higher price. So Wally thinks to himself, if I can somehow make these consumers pay different prices for the same product, won't I earn a lot more? Profit is the main reason why firms may practice price discrimination. Price discrimination is where a firm sells the same product to different consumers at different prices, even though the production costs are the same. It is also where firms charge the same consumer different prices for the same product at different times. Where people are charged more at times of peak demand, it is called peak load pricing, a common form of price discrimination. The reason for the higher prices charged at peak times is partly because demand is less elastic at peak times. Many commuters have little option but to pay higher rail fares at peak times. This is genuine price discrimination. But often, the higher prices have to do with the higher marginal costs incurred at peak times. With various fixed factors such as equipment, marginal costs are likely to rise as output expense to meet the higher demand. This could be due to dimin diminishing marginal returns to the variable factors and may not be true price discrimination.